Now, panel, are you all ready to play the game? Yeah. Yes. Indeed. Thanks, Hank. Then may we have our first contestant, please. There they are, the 30 Mouseketeers. I got, I got it already. Yeah? What? Hen more of Henry's Godchildren. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me at all. No, these are, are the, this is the sixth grade class of the Schuyler School in Kearney, New Jersey. Now, if you will forgive me momentarily. Make it good, kids. This is the big one. You ready? Mm -hmm. Children, if you'll whisper your secret to me, we will show it at the same time to the folks at home. Here we go. No kidding. Huh? <laughs> mm. Thanks, please, next please. To help classify their secret panel, I can tell you it concerns something that they did. And Bill Cullen, we'll start with you, good friend. Uh, dear friends, did they do this to Stephen Collins Foster? <laughs> no. Uh, did you do it while you were playing? No. Did you do it by playing? I mean, were you playing when you did this? No. No. Is there a reason for your coming here tonight and playing? Yes. They get to split 80 bucks between them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did this have anything to do with the thing that you did have anything to do with music? Is, uh, let, yeah. Uh, anything to do with music? Yes. Did you win something? No. Did you lose something? No. <laughs> Sounds like Allegro. Uh, it's a little before our time, kid. Uh, did it have to do with an accomplishment of yours, like uh, studying or something like that? Yes. All right, twenty dollars down, sixty dollars yeah. to go, and we go to Miss Catherine Grayson, please. Does it have to do with music? Yes. Um. You came here to study. Came here to study? Uh -huh. No. Um. You came here to perform? Yes. Yes, but that is not the secret. That's a happy byproduct. Um, um, ask Henry. He always knows. He never knows. <laughs> maybe they, uh, maybe at, uh, uh, when they were in the fifth grade, they were all tone deaf. <laughs> no, does that do? Oh, no, I'm done. Um, can I whisper? Yeah, sure you can whisper. As long as you don't ask for phone numbers. Like You're that. very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and they think so too. We have forty dollars down, forty dollars to go. We go to Henry Morgan. Yeah, he always knows. <laughs> Kids, is this the first time you ever did this? For, when when you did what you did in your secret, was it the first time that you ever did it? Yes. yes. Were you playing those uh, things? Yes. <laughs> Would you mind all at once telling me what those are called? I would we'll be very happy to tell you what this is. What, what is the name of this? That's called a tonette. It looks like a kind of a swollen pickle with holes in it. <laughs> and this is a tonette stretched out with a bulb on the end. And what, what's it called? Flutophone. A flutophone. Talk right into my Adam's apple at all times. All right. <laughs> Were you awarded this uh, appearance? This is a foolish question, but you know. As a result of something that you did with these musical instruments? Yes. But you didn't win anything, which was established before. They gained something, but they didn't win anything in the sense of a prize or a... Did you get the time to play this because you were good at something else? No. no. $60 down and a quite baffled-looking Miss Betsy right. Palmer. Yes. Um, boys and girls, did you... Were, did you accompany someone, a well-known person, by playing these instruments? No. 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 Did you do this within your school? Yes. Uh, did you do this within um, your music class oh, in yeah. school? Yes. You've got it all figured yeah, out? Yeah, we've got it now. Yeah, I know. Now you tell me. No, no, all right, no, 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 no. take a crack at it. Either Did one I? of you. They learned to play you it today. You learned it today? 
No. Ah, uh, see how wrong you are? Shame on you. Bill told me. Oh, well, I'm... This kid here told me to speak. <laughs> <laughs> this kid right there. Every kid here told me. Boy, well, as a matter of fact, you see before you what might quite probably be the, the plan of the, or the look of the future. Last September, their teacher started something different in their music appreciation class. Each Monday, she has them watch a half-hour television music program instead of having the regular class. It's presented by the New York State Department of Education on a local channel. And the class bought these tonettes and the flutophones, and the TV instructor taught them how to play the instruments on television. And during the week, their regular teacher would conduct practice sessions. And they have now advanced to two-part harmony. Uh, what is the name of your teacher on television? Richard Berg. Have you ever m seen him in person? No. He's never come to the school? No. Would you know him if you saw him? Yes. Want to turn the lights on in the audience, please? Now here, see anybody you know? No. Mr. Berg, will you stand up, sir, and wave at your pupils? There's your teacher. I would like, I would appreciate it much if you would have the time to come backstage after the show. I'm sure the youngsters would be thrilled to meet you in person. Okay, kids? Huh? Well, you're a bigger man than Rock Hudson, you know that? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Now then, um, I would like to, you to have them meet their regular teacher who will direct the Schuyler uh, sixth grade tonette and flutophone band mm -hmm. in their rendition of the children's marching song. Here is their teacher, Mrs. Doris Jackson. Mrs. Jackson, will you come out? <coughs> How are you? Make it good now. You'll see Mr. Berg right after the show. Thank you. There you go. Delightful kids, and they're so thrilled to meet you, Mr. Berg. Just excited to death. 